Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I'll be doing some speed testing on Verizon's LTE network. They have been in the area, the local network team. They've been doing fiber optic installs, increasing backhaul. So I wanna see if there's any improvements in some of the areas that I've already been tested, testing, which where I'm at now is one of the areas. So we're gonna go ahead and start these speed tests. I have now purchased the app to do screen testing so I can go as long as I want. So I got that out the way for you guys. So there won't be any more delays because of that. And as you can see, ping times are still high. I've, I've been seeing that around town. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's necessarily the backhaul or El Paso is just far away from Verizon's core network. So I don't know what the deal is there. I'm gonna do some research on that to see. So stay tuned. Also around town, I found a few areas where Verizon is uh, very slow actually. And as you saw in the vi video earlier, I've contacted Verizon support about all these areas actually. And they've responded every time with, we are going to add a new 4G LTE tower to that area. So Verizon is not going the route of adding bandwidth or you know a short-term solution they are going to add 4g LTE towers so that's that's a relief that's a you know I respect that answer because the long-term solution is you know adding a 4g LTE tower in these areas so ping time 93 download 31 pretty good upload does seem to struggle in this area Also in the comment section, let me know what results you're getting for Verizon in your area. I've seen some very crazy speed tests here in these last few days from Verizon in uh, bigger markets like New York, Chicago. I've seen pings as low as 11, speeds like 240 megabits on the download. So those markets are getting crazy, They're getting really competitive there. So, download seems to be consistent here. Ping's getting lower, and uh, upload seems to struggle. I guess there's a lot of people on the uh, uploading side, doing a lot of Snapchatting, uploading. So, definitely need some enhancements there for Verizon. Now one thing I gotta say, Verizon works everywhere, as most of you already know. I've been to areas where Sprint T-Mobile or Cricket didn't work, and Verizon works. We have here what we call the Anthony Gap. It's literally going between mountains, and Verizon worked flawlessly, no issues, throughout the whole mountains. 18 Cricket. AT&T is cricket, T-Mobile or Sprint, I would lose signal about halfway through the, through, the, through the gap, so definitely really good on the rise part. Okay, so the, up, the download seems to struggle a bit now, and this is good so you guys can see this, like I told you in my last videos, I don't edit any of this stuff. This is all taken live. So if the carrier struggles in an area, we're gonna see it. So not too bad. was a really good test there that's 72 on the ping 62 download and upload seems to do very well as well and what I did notice for Verizon and El Paso they seem to struggle on the upload not too much on the download but the upload seems to uh, 
seems to be a bit slower. Another one that struggles to upload a sprint. Uh, the TDD LT network is more set up for download. So from that 2.5 spectrum, most of it is dedicated to download. But they are adding carry aggregation on the upload as well. So those speeds should increase here in the future. But I'm wondering, Verizon hasn't been pulling any hot speeds on upload. So I'm wondering what's the issue there. This video is going to be a little longer. So I apologize in advance. I want to do some intensive testing for you guys while I'm driving more of a consistency test so download seems to be a lot better times are getting lower too. Also one thing on the voice over LTE on the Verizon, the call quality has shocked me. It's really, really good compared to T-Mobile's voice over LTE, it's day and night. I, w I was still dropping calls with uh, T-Mobile. Calls were coming in and out, they were blocked, but I haven't had these issues with Verizon, so I have some, a little bit of info as to why T-Mobile's call and re call quality and reliability is a little bit lower than most carriers as they upgraded parts of their network they didn't entirely fully upgrade the towers so like when Sprint did the network vision they completely ripped and replaced the entire network T-Mobile did a similar thing but some of the base stations they left the same and they just added band two on top of the older equipment, kind of like a layover. So once they get their entire system, and it's only a handful of towers that they left behind, but once they get that entire system upgraded to the proper antennas and the base station, then that'll also change. I'm just wondering as to why they didn't do the you know the complete area with the new towers and stuff but you know who knows what the case may be maybe it was you know low on low on money and that's why I'm kind of glad that Sprint went that route for the rip and replace because all carriers eventually will have to do it and Sprint's already mostly done they say they're done with network vision but there are still 3G only sites out there, so I'm wondering how they would be able to, I guess they gotta initiate another contract with Ericsson to have those sites done. So I'm really, I'm really wondering how Sprint's future will look. But here in the next few days, I'll drop some more videos on, the, uh, on that as well, so stay tuned. definitely some some good consistency just wanted to make this video for you guys haven't really been doing a lot of testing but I'm gonna get back on it now that I have this app and AT&T is I'm already getting a, a SIM card from them this phone's unlocked I pop it in and I keep it moving some more testing coming there but definitely stay tuned to the channel I appreciate all the support so definitely like share subscribe and this is Tyrone with Tech Life and I will see you guys in the next video peace